Welcome to the final part of the MongoDB tutorial series. In this video, I'll list out some suggestions for improvements that you can make on this um, Twitter clone. As you can see, it's pretty simple and bare bones, but there's a whole lot of things you can try to a um, test if you uh, test yourself to see if you've learned anything from this tutorial, and also to practice your own web development skills. So one thing you can try. So I, I highly recommend spending some time to um, try uh, try improving this design and making your own modifications. But I'll list off some some ideas to um, to, to hopefully inspire you. So one one example is this newsfeed. You'll see that the tweets are not in um, most recent order. So like the most recent tweet is at the bottom here. What you may want to try to do is in your code when you're making the uh, call to the database. Well, you want to look up the PHP Mongo documentation, and you you want to figure out how to a sort by the date, and then then also maybe you want to just get the ten most recent tweets instead of all of the most recent tweets. So that that's one idea for a quick and easy thing to uh, quick and easy improvement to try to make. Also, the website is pretty plain, so you can have a lot of fun doing some CSS styling and making it look pretty. Um, I'm sure that would be a lot of fun. It won't really test your MongoDB knowledge, but it will be a fun web development exercise. And then finally, you can also attempt to make it so that if you have two windows open here, and say I write a tweet in here, and I click tweet here, you can create an auto update feature where once I click tweet here, the tweet will automatically show up in the newsfeed in this other window. So those are a couple of ideas of improvements. Um, and really, the sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want with that. And uh, I, I believe that's that. That's that's the uh, conclusion of this series. That's the end of this advanced project. Um, I hope you learned a lot. And I definitely had a lot of fun making this video series for you. So, good luck on the rest of your development journeys. And uh, thank you very much.